The Muslim Student Association, or MSA, was the first Muslim Brotherhood front group established in the United States. Today, it has over 600 campus chapters in North America. A 2007 New York Police Department report on terrorism identified the MSA as an incubator for Islamic radicalism. Over a dozen MSA leaders and members on U.S. campuses have participated in terrorist activities. These include Anwar al-Awalaki from Colorado State University, the leader of al-Qaeda in Yemen, killed in a U.S. drone attack. Afia Siddiqui from MIT was sentenced to 86 years in prison for attempted murder of FBI agents in Afghanistan. And Zokar Tarnayev from the University of Massachusetts at Dartmouth was sentenced to death for the 2013 bombing of the Boston Marathon. Students for Justice in Palestine was co-founded in the early 1990s by Hatem Bazian, a Palestinian immigrant and a former member of the Muslim Student Association. Today, Hatem Bazian holds leadership positions in several prominent Muslim organizations. He is the founder and national chair of American Muslims for Palestine, AMP. Mr. Chairman, Madam Chairman, members of the committee, I worked as a terrorism finance analyst at the U.S. Treasury from 2004 to 2007. Our research yielded a troubling outcome in the case of three U.S.-based organizations involving uh, the financing of Hamas. The three now defunct organizations are Holy Land Foundation for Relief and Development, Kind Hearts for Charitable Humanitarian Development, and the Islamic Association for Palestine. As it turns out, many individuals who previously worked for or on behalf of these groups now work or fundraise for an Illinois-based organization called American Muslims for Palestine, otherwise known as AMP. The overlap between AMP, Holy Land, Kind Hearts, and the Islamic Association for Palestine is striking. Salah Sarsour, a former fundraiser for the Holy Land Foundation, is now an AMP board member. There is also Jamal Syed, prosecutors identified as the key funder for the Holy Land Foundation. And Mr. Syed has been a keynote speaker at AMP's annual fundraising dinner for three years running. Then there's Abdul Basset Hamail, who is officially the registered agent for AMP. Hamail, I should note, was also the Secretary General of the Islamic Association for Palestine, or IAP, a group found civilly liable in a federal court for financing Hamas. AMP is arguably the leading BDS organization in the U.S. It is a key sponsor of the anti-Israel campus network known as Students for Justice in Palestine, or SJP. AMP provides money, speakers, training, printed materials, and so-called apartheid walls to SJP activists. AMP even has a campus coordinator who orchestrates the BDS activities of SJP and other campus groups nationwide. American Muslims for Palestine receives donations through its fiscal sponsor, Americans for Justice in Palestine Educational Foundation, AJP, which is a tax-exempt 501c3 organization. AJP is supported by Rafiq Jaber, a founding board member of the Council on American Islamic Relations, CARE. CARE has been named by federal prosecutors as part of a conspiracy to finance Hamas in the United States. CARE is also listed as a terrorist group by the United Arab Emirates. In addition to the Islamist support, funding for certain SJP activities, like campus speakers and related marketing costs, are provided by several off-campus organizations.